Welcome back to another installment of The Game War. I'm Austin. So you guys know by now that I like to customize my games and make them more personal for me and my friends so we feel more involved and have more fun playing these games. So like in Zombicide Black Plague, I built custom miniatures and hero cards for my friends so they could feel like they were more absorbed into the game and it felt more personal. So, but, you know, unfortunately doing those things can be kind of complicated, especially finding miniatures that people like, character art, those kind of things to kind of combine together. It's serendipity when you find both. So when I came across a website called HeroForge, I was stoked. So at HeroForge.com, you're able to build your custom mini from the ground up. You can do fantasy, you can do modern day, anything you can think of, you can put together pretty well. So I built these two miniatures for an upcoming project I'm working on for my friends for Zombicide, the modern day version. I mean, I love Black Plague, but they've been wanting to play the original Zombicide. So as you can see here, just a typical guy with a shotgun. Got himself a little riot shield, and then we got a cowgirl. Got some, you know, whip on the side, and a nice little rope to, you know, rope some zombies in. Really, really awesome detail. Built these from the scra uh, from the ground up. I was really stoked. So I wanted to share with you a review of these figures and the process that I went through building these figures. Now, the process overall is really easy. You know, you go to their website, you pick out what type of miniature, meaning basically if you want to pick out male, female, whatever gen besides gender, whatever type of, let's say, I will call them factions or different styles, like you have animal types, lizard types, just different things. Overall, after you pick your things, you can combine some stuff together, you know, like I did here, some shields, poses, even chose the base, all those things. Once you get through this and you've really, you know, honed it down and feel like, you know, you've got it where you needed to get, then you can set it to purchase. That's my only gripe. Honestly, you know, the miniatures, they're awesome. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. There's no question. But overall, my only issue would be pricing and the fact it takes four weeks for them to come back. Like, I want to do these quickly. So when I normally, when I did with Black Plague, I bought all the miniatures in one shot, got within seven to 10 days from Reaper Miniature, put all the bases together, got them glued, painted them pretty quickly. And it was about a week, maybe two week turnaround that I had everything on the table ready to go. When I ordered these, it takes anywhere between six, six weeks. I got them in four weeks. That was cool. But unfortunately, I only got two so far because I can only afford two because it's a little pricey because per miniature, it's 30 bucks a piece. So with two it was roughly about 65 bucks total with shipping. I, you know, I understand, you know, they built the software from the ground up and they're using an outside company to actually print these miniatures because these are 3D printed, which is pretty awesome for 3D printing so far. For me, I would honestly like the price point to come down maybe 25 maybe even 20 bucks, you know, that's, that would be my top, top of the line, add some shipping in there. And maybe the turnaround being two weeks, cause I would have bought six at a shot and honestly had them on the table within the next week or so all fully painted. Now I'm just kind of dragging my feet, waiting for all the, all the, my particular figures to get here. So overall, I mean, like I said, the details perfect. I love them. Um, I would, my only other great besides the price, I honestly, the base it's sturdy, but I would like it to be thicker. I mean, when you look at the website, um, it looks thicker than this. I mean, the bottom, you can see where they did some 3D printing, where they, you know, was attached to the glass as they were building the mold, and that's fine. I mean, if I really need to, I'll buy a square base glued onto, you know, the base and do some fun stuff with the basing. But I really wish it was thicker, because I really like the pattern of the stone on top that I chose. Because I really, I thought that would be interesting, especially for modern-day Zombicide. But overall, I gotta say Hero Forge is definitely a place I'm going to go back to, absolutely, uh, especially since I want to customize some more miniatures. I mean, every time I've gone back, they seem to add more things to it, so there's just more options, especially when it comes to weapons, poses, uh, overall just look of the figure. I mean, this is a combination of many different layers of customization that I chose. This wasn't a basic template. And keep in mind, they do have templates on there that you can choose from and just go straight out there, print them out, and you're good to go. Um, I chose, like I said, this is $30. I chose the $30 part. This is the plastic miniature, easy to paint, but you can even get these in metal all the way up to bronze, which is like $100 per figure, which I would love to see what that would look like. Frankly, it's not my price point, but it'd be kind of cool to have a bronze figure. But like I said, overall, this kicks ass. 
I would happily and I will go back to Hero Forge and order the rest of my figures. I just wish the price would come down. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been another review with the Game Warrior. Have a good day, man. Hi, I'm Monster, and welcome to the Game Warrior. Nope, this is not gonna work. A game where I won a game. Oh, you think you know how to play the game? I was born into it, molded by it. This is my playground. Welcome to the Game Warrior! No, it's not it, no. Welcome to the Game Warrior! No, no, definitely not Hi, I'm Austin, and welcome to the Game Warrior. Yes! You're the best around! Nothing's going on!